Justin, what was talked about between you and uh, Austin Hill? Uh, well, so when the 48 got me up out of the groove, uh, coming off the four there, I about knocked Vince down, just trying to get out of the way, and um, pulled right, and he had, I, Spotter said the 21 was coming on the bottom, so I moved right to get out of his way, and unfortunately, he shaded right to go around the outside and ended up kind of getting blocked out of the deal. And, you know, I just told him, you know, we've raced together really well all season. You know, there's no intention there of blocking him. Um, it doesn't help me any. I'm at that point, I'm 50 miles an hour off the pace. So, you know, disappointed in the end result. I mean, it's it's, it's a shame that um, our car was as fast as it was today. You know, obviously, we led a lot of laps and won two stages. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep rebounding and go to next week at the Roval. And obviously, knowing that we're locked into the next round made today a little, little less frustrating. And the racing with uh, Parker Kligerman, I know he was he got loose on the bottom. So just nothing you could do there, pretty much, with going for the win. Oh, uh, I mean, sure, going for the win. You know, at that point, obviously, he had a huge tire advantage over us, and that was my biggest frustration. Is he drove it in there way deeper than he should have, knowing that it was going to get free. Um, I left him room. I felt like if I watched the replay back, there's at least a car width in between the two of us getting down into three, and I just felt like. Um, I knew, I knew as soon as I lifted, I knew he was going to darn near run in the left rear, and at that point, I couldn't afford to get wrecked, right? Um, we need to return, you know, we need to turn this car around and run it again soon. So, um, you know, once I got out of the groove, then it was just hang on to it. And, you know, I think, um, you know, he felt like he needed to take the chance when he had it, but I felt like, you know, over the course of the next coming laps, you know, he was going to have plenty of chances to try to get by me, you know, with as, with as much of a tire advantage as he had. So, just disappointed. Um, that's not the first time we've... I had troubles coming to the end of a race, and it seems to be that the seven cars always went outside, but unfortunately. Does that mean you're talking about that? Your chances going in the round of eight, though. Well, I mean, I feel really good. I mean, obviously, today was a good start to that, and we got a lot of points. We got stage points, which will obviously carry over into the next round. Um, I feel like our program is really good. It's, it's, we're firing on all eight cylinders. All things are good. Um, you just got to execute. And today, we executed well. We just, we were, we caught, we got caught behind the eight ball a little bit, you know, with the strategy because of whatever was going on there um, in turn one and two, you know, I, I felt like I was going to crash. And it, uh, you know, it's partially my fault. I should have just let it ride out. But we came and took tires. And, you know, ultimately that was kind of the difference maker today. So, again, I'm, I'm proud of the effort. I, I can't be disappointed in the effort that we put in. This car was phenomenal. And, uh, you know, we'll just have to go to the next one and, and try to try to do better. Texas, I mean, we didn't have the PJ1 again this year. Do you think that played a factor as to why turns one and two were a little slippery? Uh, no, because we definitely moved up into it. I'm, I'll be glad when that stuff's gone completely. Uh, it seems like, you know, no matter how many times they don't reapply it, as slick as the track is, I mean, it's obviously 100 degrees outside, so it's super, super slick. Um, anyways, but but I feel like once it got super slick on the bottom, then it just kind of forced us all to run up there all day. And Now that that's a bad thing, it just, it's, you know, you, you, you can mask some, you know, balance issues whenever you're able to run up like that. I felt like our car was really good on the bottom early, and, and you know, that, that was really what put us behind. Going back to that slide up earlier, obviously, it, it didn't work in your favor, but then staying out, the caution played in your favor, and it was the caution of your dreams, and then the next caution was kind of the fate. Like, what's that swing of emotions like, especially for someone who's been in the sport for so long and being able to hold your composure and still – be in the fight for the lead with less than 10 to go. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, hats off to Jim Pullman and the whole seven team. I mean, they they obviously put a lot of effort into the strategy. And, you know, you never want to get off on strategy if you don't have to. If you're out front, you lead laps, and you can maintain the same strategy as everybody else, and it kind of works in your favor, right? But, but when we got off, um, you know, you're right. I mean, that strategy to stay out and to not worry about if they were going to catch us on tires really worked in our favor, you know, and... and um, then as it, as it transitioned, obviously that last caution was kind of the nail in the coffin for us. But I did feel like, uh, you know, we had great pit stops all day and we knew what we did in the moment was the right thing. It just didn't work out for us. Just talking about the two stage wins, we've seen it just in this first round alone, Trucks the uh, cutoff was just five points and then Cup was four. Xfinity was just a handful of points between multiple drivers. So what do those two points mean if you don't advance or do advance? Like how important is that? Or is that just something that you'll find out in two more rounds? Two yeah, more. Rounds. I, I think two more. You know, moving forward, we'll find out more. But you know, I feel like um, one of the things that I love about the points right now is, you know, obviously the win at Bristol last week gave me that five bonus points. Today we got two bonus points. You know, I don't know that it's going to be the difference maker for making the round of four. But man, I feel good about. I feel good about. You know, making those points right. Like when when you can put yourself in position to make points like that week in and week out. Um, 
then you're obviously doing all the right things and you, you feel like you, you're going to point your way in if, if worst case scenario comes around, right? So we did a good job today. We obviously gained a lot of points, lost some to the 20, which is frustrating, but um, you know they were good today. They did, they did all the right things. Um, just wasn't meant to be. Um, you, you guys have been fast at the 1.5 mile tracks all year. You crossed off Charlotte, up next is Vegas. Do you feel that that's going to be a very similar race to there and maybe here today too? Yeah, I mean, we've had super good speed on all the mile and a half this year. You know, that's been super encouraging. I feel like if you look at the history of my career, mile and a half has probably been my weakness. So it's good to have that speed. Um, does that give us an automatic win in Vegas? Absolutely not. Anything can and will happen. But, you know, I think that um, I think it's pretty, pretty awesome what we've been able to accomplish as a 17 this year and feel good about our program as we as we move forward. Thank you. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.